he's probably the most outgoing person I've ever met. Um, he's just willing to strike up a conversation with anybody. He can just get along with anybody. I mean, you put him in a room with anybody and he's not shy. He goes out of his way to ask questions and is genuinely interested in people and that's something unique that I think he has. He has no fear of just wanting to meet everybody new and just getting to know absolutely every single person and he truly cares about everybody that he meets. You're not quite sure what you're going to get with Micah, but one thing's for sure, never a dull moment with that guy. Let me introduce you to my friend Micah. He has an intellectual disability, but more often than not, you wouldn't know it. To me, he's one of the most fascinating and interesting people I know. Earliest memories of Micah were um, through his sister and his brother, because uh, his sister went to school with me in Canada. I met Micah a couple years ago through Mark when Mark first started working with him and my first earliest memories of Micah were just how funny this kid was. So my earliest memories of Micah were just when I first met him, him saying just ridiculous things and making us laugh. He's always kind of the life of the party, um, making things fun for everybody. What's that? I got some! <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I'm little John! Oh yeah yeah! Oh, okay! What? I'm rich Steve! <laughs> yeah. Did he do the next song? My favorite Micah moments are the ones that come out of left field and are super spontaneous and just get you on the floor laughing because you didn't expect him. Things he says wouldn't come out of anyone else's mouth, that's why it's so funny. So, um, Jimmy Hans later on? Hey, I'm talking to myself right now. So this is Micah from the Migration. And I love the pizza party. You know what everybody says. Yeah, mellow out, man. Mellow out, yeah. <laughs> Why do you think people think you're funny? Um, because I have good, good stuff to say or they crack up because I tell them funny jokes or just stuff where we're filming at. I come up with the ideas about it. The Mike Ryder Show. The Mike Ryder Show. Um, I come up with some ideas and we shoot videos just different places like restaurants, uh, stores, uh, at my house, or just out and about. Hey everybody, this is Micah from the Micah Ready Show. And we talk about this uh, random stuff that comes to my mind. and. People like it a lot and I have it on Facebook and people like enjoy it and they want me to keep doing it more and more. Oh dude, what's up man? I didn't see you there tonight, so Wow, you're right hey, there? What's up, man? That's cool. Oh. Nice hat man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you get that at the truck nut store last night? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay, I got it there. Sometimes I dress up for it or just what I'm wearing right now. And I 
maybe talk about like my friends or just other people. Uh, interview my friend Ethan. He likes to fish. Yeah. Hey Ethan, I got some questions about the Philly team. Where are they from? Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. What's their stadium called? Citizen Bank. Okay. Try and get it out on YouTube. Make it more popular. Maybe get sponsored by YouTube or maybe put it on a show or make a show on the TV or internet. The skill that I'm most impressed with with Micah is his like amazing eye hand coordination with absolutely everything, you name it. When everybody was telling me, oh, play Micah and ping pong, I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm going to destroy him. No, I just got owned. When I start playing ping pong, um, throughout my years I played, but I started getting more competitive probably in 2012 to 2010, maybe. I got more competitive. I, and I was in a special Olympics tournament for ping pong and I did really good. I took first. Yes, it was a big accomplishment, saying I can do it then. Do you think you could compete with people outside of Special Olympics? I think I can, at my standard. My brain doesn't think about reading, and I got a disorder, so I have a troubles with reading still when I'm old age. In young age, I just never learned how to read or write. Or spell. So, was that frustrating for you? It was frustrating, yes. Oh, there's a there's a software called Siri on your phone, and I use Siri for your communication to people, like through text or looking up web searching. Uh, it helps me out a lot. It's a good tool for me to use. Uh, that's probably one of my best buys for a phone, is using a speak voice activation. So I'm going to show you how to use my phone as a text mess to text message off of Siri. You hold down the home button. Text Alec, I'm going to go home right now. Here's your message to Alec Philippi. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send your message. I think a lot of people that meet him don't understand his mental disability, so um, they might make assumptions about him or um, they just don't understand who he is as a person. They have to kind of warm up to who he is and kind of see his lighter side to, to get a better picture of his personality. As a culture, we don't have patience, you know, and, and I didn't have patience when I was younger. We, we, want, we just want to be around people that make us feel good. And, you know, it just takes like that extra second to get past like being impatient with someone. There's moments where I, I reflect back on how I dealt with him like, oh man, if that were somebody else, I would have I would have done it differently, you know. And so I would say yes, but um, definitely getting past that. I mean, he's an awesome, awesome person for sure. My hope is that viewing this film would cause you to rethink how you view people with mental or intellectual disabilities, because I know that for me and my friends, our relationships with Micah have done just that.